Hey guys, welcome back to the Tool Show. I'm Rob. And I'm Sarah. And we are at NECA 2023. Could not be more excited. We are going to see so many new tools from Milwaukee, DeWalt, Klein, Knipix, Hilti, Greenlee, and more. Oh my God, we should probably get started. Yeah, let's go. There's no point in being coming to NECA 2023 without stopping by the Klein booth. Luckily, I'm here with Greg. Greg, thank you so much hey, for joining us. Thanks for coming by. Super excited about meeting you. We have been really excited to see coverage of Modbox. Unbelievable, unique innovation that we're seeing a lot of it, but this is the first time I got my hands on it. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, this thing has been so popular at the show. Everyone's coming up. This thing is a real game changer, right? We know there's a lot of other mobile workstations out there, but one of the cool things about it here, biggest wheels in the industry, right? We yeah. know guys are going on unfinished job sites. They're trying to go up and down stairs. These wheels are a huge game changer. And it helps you get in and out of those things. Back storage here. I'm gonna yeah, around all item here. storage is a big deal. Yeah, so this, this thing here, Again, it's got you be able to store uh, benders, fish sticks, you know, those big levels, all this storage here, not you don't keep running back to go get it. This storage is great. And then the other game changer here is these uh this back here, right? It's a removable handle. Removable handle, right? So you can put it underneath a tonneau cover, yeah. right? Yeah. So that's the big thing, right? Before guys are trying to tip their stuff, they're trying to put it in. Yeah. But we got this thing here, right? So you just pop that out, be able to put it in. No extra hardware, nothing. Boom, right. Great, so it love it. There. And I was telling a great story. Coming to the show, I got to transport all this stuff. I had to call an Uber driver, right? Sure. Guy, guy shows up in a Camry. I got this big thing, boom, pop that thing off. Right in the fit truck. It right in the Camry, guy, guy's set. That's so, awesome. The other great thing about it, like all the systems, we got a ton of great accessories. We got bags, we got coolers. Cooler. We got I these uh, multi-hook attachments here. So if you want to hang your uh, electrical, uh, electrical cords, cable. you can hang fish tapes, you can hang your hard hat. This thing got here. A cup holder. This cup holder is awesome. Attaches right on the side. Best thing about it, it's uh, the way that it's so. I don't know the. Uh, the uh, physics behind it, but if, even if you're going over something or you're opening your lid, it's not going to spill. No right? kidding. Yeah, so it'll rotate, it'll always stay upright. I don't know if it's got a uh, gimbal or a GPS or whatever, but the uh, thing is incredible. <laughs> uh, it's not going to make sure. So this has been great. We're getting a lot of great feedback here. We are really happy. Uh, people can go on kleintools.com slash modbox, uh, check it out build their own system, they can play around with it, see what's right for them. We got a ton of accessories and we got a ton of things new uh, that are coming out in the next uh, next couple months. So stay tuned to our channel, stay tuned to your channels. Yeah. Uh, check your uh, your local uh, distributor or big box store. Uh, you may, might find yourself uh, some new mod box. That's awesome. Now Greg, I also understand we got some new Made in the USA stuff. We do have some new Made in the USA stuff. go check that out? Yeah, let's go, let's let's go, go. check it out. Clients have been making tools in the USA for 166 years. Since wow. 1857, we've been making tools in the US, right? Forged tools, American steel, our own secret blend, our own secret recipe, and we got a lot of great stuff here. We put our things through tons of tests. We know we outperform all the competition. Lots of guys here at the show talking about their hand tools and how their hand tools are the best. I just want to remind everybody, we're still making tools here in the U.S., right down our plant in Mansfield, uh, Mansfield, Texas. We got lots of great workers down there, and we are making a whole line of tools uh, here in the U.S. Uh, that your viewers are going to love. All right, we're going to break a quick Disney rule. We're going to talk about Bruno. So, Greg, what's Bruno wearing and why is it important? Yeah, it's important because Klein has a whole new line of PPE. We got you covered head to toe, right? We got a whole new line of, uh, of helmets. We have traditional helmets. We have these new uh, safety helmets here. Again, a little, little lower profile. Uh, we have our own system where you can attach a headlamp, so no more uh, putting on with uh, duct tape or zip ties or whatever. Uh, we've got uh, lots of accessories that hang on this hard hat. Bruno's also wearing our new uh, hard hat fan here. We know how hot these things can get. So you put this thing on, give you a little cool air oh, there, that cool is you awesome. down uh, on that the job site. Cool. So yeah. yeah, so Bruno's got a little, uh, getting a little air there. We got a whole line of hearing protection, right? Bruno's got some uh, earplugs here. We know how big hearing protection is on the job site. We want to make sure we keep those ears safe. Eyes, eyes are important, right? We got to keep your eyes safe. We got a whole line of uh, safety glasses uh, for, for electricians and guys out there. Uh, make sure we keep those safe. As you move down, we got safety get safety vests here. We know everyone's got to wear the high vis stuff. So a whole line of safety vests. Make sure you check those out. Gloves, cut one, cut two, cut four. You know, a lot of guys on the job sites today said, "Hey, I only wear cut four. We got those out there for you. Uh, make sure that uh, you pick those up. 
uh, and managed to move down. These have been a huge hit during the show. These uh, these knee sleeves here. If you ever if you ever see like BMX motorcycle riders, yeah. they wear real slim knee pads. So we took a little page out of their book and we made these knee pads, these knee sleeves here. You can wear them all day, right? Put them you wear under them. your jeans. I'm going to be wearing them under, underneath as well. You can wear them yeah. under or over your jeans, and they're not the big bulky ones, right? We've all seen those big bulky ones. These are real slim, real form fitting here. And again, because of the fabric here, it's not going to be sweaty. It's not going to be gross at the end of the day. But people have been loving these. We've got a ton of awards out there for these. This has been a big game changer uh, in the PPE space. So, Klein, head to toe. We got a lot of great new stuff coming out. But Bruno here is uh, showing off all our great stuff. Awesome. Thanks again, Greg. We appreciate right, the tour. Thanks for coming by. Have a great show. Take care. Hey there, I'm Dawn Powell with Vito Pro Pack. I'm gonna talk to you today about our newest tool bag. First off, Vito Pro Pack is in Connecticut. We distribute the best tool bags in the world. Sure of that. Anyways, today, the MB5B, our newest tool bag. This bag is actually a spin-off of our top selling TPXXL. We had such a great response with the TPXXL, we decided to take this bag, convert it into a backpack version. So these backpack straps are removable if you don't want them, but this is a backpack bag. Super awesome bag, two meter pockets on the side, fit all your tools in there, but great bags. Five years, zero downtime warranty on all of our products. Check us out, vetopropack.com. There is a dealer locator on our website, so you can punch in your zip code and find your closest distributor. All right, guys, we just found the Knipix booth where I met Peter. Yeah. Peter, thank you so much. Hey, it's no nice problem. to meet you. Good to meet you. So tell us what's going on at Knipix and why they're so relevant to electricians. I'll tell you why. One good way to do that is with this wall right here. All right. Okay, so we set up this wall with a lot of different scenarios of THHN going through conduit. We've got Rolmex and I got BF, okay? We want to show electricians that we have a lot of tools to do a lot of different things, from cutting wire to looping wire to stripping wire tightening nuts on the pipe, stuff like that. Yeah. So we want to show you that. But a couple of uh, specific tools we want to talk about. One is this one in here. This is what we call a needle nose combination pliers. We have one already, which is this guy, but now we got a bigger version of it, all right? So a couple of benefits of this tool. One is we have a needle nose in, in the front here. Great for reaching in a box, pulling out wire. There's a little looping hole in there so I can loop the wire. I've also got this area in here to grab on the pipe. And then I got a cutting area right here. So what I can do, obviously, is I can come in here and cut the wire, cut this one off here. I can loop it right there. It's a nice little handy tool. Very cool. Yeah. This one here is the twin grip. The reason it's called a twin grip is there's two gripping areas. There's one in the front, and I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it, right up in there. So if you got a screw that you need to grab on from the front, all I gotta do is open it up and grab on the front. Oh, very then cool. And you also have this area here to the side. The cool part about this tool here, same push button technology we have with our pliers wrench. All I gotta do is push the button. Oh, that's cool. It. It's in the old slip joint where you gotta open up the handles yep. all the way and then try to slide it back into place. Now we have a push button. Are these guys readily available right now? Yeah, they are. Very cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, cool, thanks man. a lot, Peter. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. You guys have a good show. You too, thanks. All right, guys, we found an enormous DeWalt booth here at NECA 2023. Luckily, my buddy Derek over here is gonna show us what's new with DeWalt. Derek, thanks so much, man, for joining us. Appreciate it. Good, good to see you. Yep. So what's going on? What's new with DeWalt? We are showing oh, our look at that upcoming thing. DCE 600 hydraulic knockout tools. Very cool. With a force output of 11 tons, you can get up to 10 gauge mild and 12 gauge stainless steel wow. knockout punches. Um, it's got 180 degrees. No way. It's got a nice LED ring for illumination. And we're super proud to say that we make this tool in the United States. Very, very awesome. On our accessories, we've actually, on our dies, we have embedded magnets in magnets. these dies. Oh, that is cool. So that users can easily and precisely line it up ahead of time. Yep. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's slick. That makes so much sense. <laughs> On our punches at inch and a half and above, we actually have threadless punches to alleviate the need oh, of to cranking that. Yeah, exactly. getting cranking it in place, sure. On and off that. That'd be a lot faster. In order to secure it though, you have to use our, our quick stud lock okay. that comes through the back here. Well, I see, and it has threads in there that you're probably. Exactly. You're, you're hitting a button, skipping over the threads, and then tightening it. Shove it. I got gotcha. you. on there, make sure your system is nice and snug here. Love it. You can take our tool. Connect it to your draw stud. Okay. Rotate that head if you so choose. 
a four minute knockout punch. Very, very cool. Look at that guy. A nice, plain two inch hole. No for kidding. Right? That is so anyway, awesome. That's our, our upcoming DC 600 hydraulic knockout tool. The wall, guaranteed top. Right? right, exactly right. Now, do you know how soon we're going to see this? Uh, looking to launch our half inch to two inch. Uh, this year, we're really pushing our team to, to get it out. Um, Come on, team. Year, our larger punches and dies are going to be coming on uh, early early uh, front half of, of next year, I'll say. So, Sounds good. Uh, awesome. Yes. Do you got anything else you want to show us? Yeah, we, we also have uh, our, our cut strip crimp. Let's go check that out. Right, all right, yeah. listen. We are showing off our end-to-end -end solution for all your cutting, stripping, and crimping cable needs. So, left to right, we have our DCE 150 uh, cable cutter. You can cut all of your copper or aluminum cable that you would see on the job site. Next, our DCE 151 cable stripper. Say goodbye to open blades on the job site with this easy to use. Oh, that's awesome. For all of your THHN or XHHW needs. Next, we are introducing our upcoming DCE 310 compact cable crimper. This has a force output of 7.2 tons. We are manufacturing our own DeWalt dies with this tool. It's got a great LED light for illumination. It's got a 180 degree rotating head on it. Oh, that's smart. Nice latching head. Um, for all of your... cable crimping needs. DeWalt, cut, strip, connect, guaranteed tough. I'm Mitchell Brickman, a product manager with DeWalt Construction Technology Group. We have a few different software platforms, uh, products that we have. Here, I'm showing off our site manager with Tool Connect. This allows you to track many different assets uh, as well as tools to your job sites and through your storage locations. This is at many different levels. So you, we have our most basic level, which are our QR codes. These are ruggedized uh, DeWalt. You can associate these to anything from a fabrication cart to an assembly. Uh, additionally, we have these Bluetooth trackers, uh, which will allow you to see their location based on your mobile app with Site Manager or these DeWalt gateways, which will take the GPS location uh, approximately 300 to 400 feet to pick those up. Uh, as well as our new DeWalt tools coming out, there's this ch handy chip pocket. So you can take out the initial insert and, and plug these in. They have a blink feature to identify if you're looking for them, uh, as well as connecting to the gateway for location. Have you guys ever heard of Tiger Stop before? Because I hadn't. We're still in the DeWalt booth, but right over here, one of the partners, Tiger Stop, has this amazing motorized robotic stop block kind of thing. Luckily, we have Liz here to explain it to you better than I can. Liz, thanks so much for joining us. Absolutely. Really, really appreciate it. Thank so you tell us about me. the Tiger Stop. Yeah, so I'm Liz with Tiger Stop. We've been around for about 30 years here. Um, today, we're at NECA in Philadelphia. As you can see, we have an automated stop and push feeding system. It attaches to pretty much any tool that you have. So here we show it on a DeWalt chop saw. But if you have an iron worker, a drill, a punch, a press, a shear, you can attach a tiger stop to get fully automated um, push feeding and accurate cuts. That means that you no longer have to pull out a tape measure to measure and mark each cut. Um, it means that you can send cut lists directly to the machine. And you can also nest. So if you have um, conduit, if you're cutting copper, if you're cutting um, all thread, unistrut, you can tell it the ingoing dimension of material, uh, your cut list, what you need to cut from that material. It uses an algorithm to find the best cutting order so you the least scrap waste. Nice. Really, really cool. So if I, if I need five small pieces out of an eight foot piece, it can be programmed so I set it in. This will actually feed it, right? Absolutely. So I make my feeding. cut. It's going to push, push it in for the next cut. I just got to keep pulling it down when it stops. Exactly. That you is awesome. You can actually tie in directly to this DeWalt chop saw so that it could be fully semi-automatic or wow. fully automatic. Um, no kidding. The great option that you see here is that we also integrate with M-Suite software. So we have an expert, I believe, from M-Suite 
Gordon, who can talk a lot more about the building information modeling software. Sounds good. Let's talk with Gordon. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Gordon Brooks, and I'm with M-Suite and DeWalt. So we're here today with the Tiger Stop and the integration with M-Suite Fab. What M-Suite Fab allows you to do is to integrate all of the cuts that you're getting from our M-Suite product with the Tiger Stop to optimize your cuts. This will allow you to nest all of your cuts so you reduce your waste. And as you do each cut, your operators will be able to see exactly what cut they need to do. And that's going to generate a label for them every time they make that cut. So as they make the cut, they get a label printed out along with that with a QR code that they can look up the drawings. No more paper is needed in order to look at your drawings now, you can view it all on our tablet application with the integration with the Tiger Stop. You're going to reduce your cuts and your waste. Welcome to the Hilti booth, guys. I'm here with my buddy Braden, who's going to show off five different neuron tools. Super excited about seeing all these guys. Braden, and thank you for this amazing Muppet setup. We're not Muppets, we're actually human beings. But tell us about these new tools, where do you want to start? So I'll start on this right side over here. Uh, as promised, Hilti continues to deliver on the Neuron Cordless platform. Yeah. This is our impact driver. It has a two-speed torque on the bottom right, and of course it coincides with our impact wrench over here for those tight-to-reach applications that you can't get with a normal impact. Very cool. And this guy? That's our impact wrench I mentioned as I was talking about that I one, see. but it's basically gotcha. very similar application as far as how it's designed to get to those tight reach applications. And gotcha. Is that a quarter inch anvil? That is a 3 eighths. Oh, that is 3 eighths? Okay. Yes. Now we have our multi-tool. This one we're really excited about. It's been really popular. This launched uh, just recently. It's a Starlock head, which yeah. means that it's going to be the one of the most durable bits you can ever get. You can get long bits on there that last a long time. You gotta, yeah, there you go. All the way. I knew it. <laughs> didn't Sorry, just turn, turn all the way. That's You're perfect. good. Yep. So we're really excited about that platform, especially because we we obviously will um, have our own bits on our website uh, as yeah. well, plunge cut to scraper blades, what, what have you. A lot of people have asked us about the Hilti multi-tool. They're very, very excited about seeing this guy in person. So very, very cool. All right. What else do we have? That is a very, very, very tiny circular saw. Yes, it is. Five and three eighths inch blade. Um, wow. It's designed for the electrician. You, you know that when you're working overhead or if you're working um, in tight environments, you need something that's compact. That's what this is designed for. Uh, the speed of the blade is fantastic. You're going to get about the same power that you're going to get with a six and a half inch anyway. Um, it's just designed to basically make sure that you can get in those tight spots and cut fast and clean and cold like you want. Very cool. The band saws, you actually helped talk or introduce us to these band saws back at World of Concrete. We've got to play with a couple of our own. Tell us all about the SB622. Well, Healthy always leads with health and safety, and our bandsaw is a dual trigger, a systematic dual trigger bandsaw, which means back trigger first, front trigger second, and it'll run. But the best thing about that, it's fast. Our Hilti blades last a long time. They're, they're cutting super fast and they're durable. Uh, it's been a game changer for us as a company and to see how people like it. Now, some of these are available right now, right? Or are all of them? All are available right now. Awesome. Head over to your Hilti store to get them then, guys. Brain, thanks so much again. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Hi, I'm Chris Freeman. I'm with Current Tools. Uh, Current Tools is based out of Greenville, South Carolina. And we are looking at the 254P 252, which is a two and a half inch to four inch EMT, IMC, and rigid conduit bender. The nice thing about this bender is we can do uh, PVC coated rigid as well. And in order to use this bender, all you have to do is bend this. We have a pump on the other side. And to change your shoes out, you pull a pin out, store everything back under, pull the new shoe out, follow bar, put it up. Uh, the only other thing that's different about this one than the old one is this is a mobile table. So you can roll this around anywhere you want to go. All of the saddles, follow bars, and shoes all fit on the bender itself. All right, guys, I'm here with my buddy Mark from Greenlee. We're going to be talking about hole making today, right? Let's do it. All right, what have we got first? All right, so first we got our new GSB step bits. This right here is a brand new pretty case of them, but we're going to drill some holes. So this actually has a new patented design. As you can see on the step bit, it has a double tier for each of the steps. So it makes it a lot smoother when you're drilling a hole. It's a lot faster. And it also it has less surface area as it's drilling the hole. So it's less heat that is made as it's drilling. Oh, that's clever. Yeah. So uh, one thing that uh, my buddy Rob will want me to talk about is the patented 
uh, tip design that is on this. It's also a no walk tip design. It's a split okay. tip and uh, he worked on it for years. So I had to throw that in there for Rob. <laughs> so let's go ahead and drill a hole in regular steel. So it's a lot faster and easier than That's your standard quick. step bit. Yep. One thing that we also have that I want to show you is we also make a cobalt step bit. This cobalt step bit is designed for stainless steel. So it's infused with cobalt. It has a zinc oxide finish on it. So you can actually drill stainless with a step bit. Something new. Wow, look at that. Yep. So after we drill that hole, we got to make it bigger. So, All right. so what we're going to do is we're going to come over here now and talk about our knockout system. Let's do it. All right. So this is Greenlee's uh, battery hydraulic system right here. As you can see, we got two different sizes. This is a seven ton LS50. Uh, it's designed for two inch and under. And this is our 11 ton. It can actually do six inch and under. Wow. So depending on what your flavor is and what all you get into, we have multiple knockout systems. So it's a fully enclosed battery hydraulic system. Let's talk about the knockouts real quick. These are bottomless knockouts right here, all made in the USA uh, by the company that designed knockouts first, which is Greenlee. So I'm going to go ahead and grab one of these draw studs right here, and we're going to go over here and knock a hole real quick. So I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is. Put this cup on here and let's walk over to this panel. Sounds good. I'm going to show it from this way. Typically what I would do is I would do it from the, outside. the outside. Yeah, box, so sure. that I can line up my marks. But it looks so much better <laughs> on video sure. when you actually get to see it cut. Sounds good. Yes. Now we screw this on. And with the bottomless cup, I don't have to worry about that cutter getting sucked into the bottom in, into the bottom of the cup, dulling it out and ruining my tool and my cutters. So that. as you can see, I actually have my finger still on the trigger. It has a built-in pressure sensor, so once it uh, feels the pressure release, uh, it automatically stops the tool and we still use our sl slug splitter design. So after I take that cup off, as you can see, splits that slug in half so it's easy to come out of the cup. So right now I'm going to talk about our new dual shoe hand bender right here. So typically you got one shoe, now you got two of them, half inch, three quarter, both on one head. Really cool feature about this is, it's most of the time your degree marks are always on your side. So when you're bending conduit, maybe you're bending a 30 or a 45, you typically got to tip it to the side to see it. We now actually have those degrees right in the middle. So you can stay over center and actually see as you're bending. If you're bending a 90, lock it in, flip it over. Fatter foot pedal on it now. More surface area so you can get more rear pressure as you're bending. And it'll actually stand up on its own. So now we're going to talk about our 1,000 pound tugger, our G1. So, as you can see, it's a drill driven tugger. It's got a tapered cap stand right here. It's got an easy on off so that you can get your mule tape, your rope, whatever you're doing uh, on and off simply. You can actually extend the boom out. You can rotate the boom. There's a pin right here to rotate it either way. The way you connect it to your conduit or your end of uh, uh, panel can or something like that, uh, you can actually rotate it up and down. So it's a very simple system. Um, show you real quick. What I'll do is 
typically we've got tension on this rope. There's actually something on the other side. Uh, as I said, up to a thousand pounds. And it simply pulls branch circuits, small sub panel feeds, tapered cap stand so it's simple to get it off. And if I get tired of holding it like this, it's got a spot here on the back side where I can simply put a piece of half inch conduit in it and I could do a pull like this right here without even having uh, the pressure of it uh, on my arms, shoulders, and all that kind of stuff. So simple, easy concept. This is the G1. Milwaukee booth. We're going to take a look at Forge first. My buddy Tim over here is going to show it. Tim, thanks so much for joining us. Really Absolutely. appreciate it, bud. So tell us all about the new Forge M18 battery. Absolutely. So Relington Forge really is an introduction of a top tier of batteries here at Milwaukee Tool, really delivering more capability, not to just our current tool performance, but future tools as well. This is going to elevate the performance of our entire M18 platform, all while maintaining compatibility. And that's really the biggest story here, pushing capability while maintaining compatibility. So I want to talk about the M18 lineup. So we have a new M18 Red Lifting Forge XC6 amp hour battery. From a power perspective, this has the same power output as our high output 12 volt today. That's right, the high output 12 volt and a much smaller footprint, really hitting on the ergonomic benefit of the users that are working overhead, maybe in tight spaces, to still get that power, but not necessarily that added on weight. Now to run in parallel with the M18 Relithium Forge XC6 amp hour battery, we have a new M18 dual base simultaneous supercharger. Now, when you pair these two together, this battery will be able to charge to 80% state of charge in just 15 minutes. Sheesh. That is the fastest charging pack in the industry. Really going to give that unmatched productivity for users to get back on the job. Now, that's one at a time, though, right? They're not going to charge that fast simultaneously. Correct. That's one at okay. a time. Okay. So it will boost to that side. Will it automatically start boosting the next one, or how does that work? 100%. So it's a new feature that we have called Charge Adapt. This is new to the industry as well. Essentially, when you have two batteries on here, if one is a lower state of charge than the other, the charge will actually be able to adapt and put more power to the other battery oh, that's awesome. to maximize productivity and keep a smaller footprint in terms of a charging solution. Very, very cool. Yeah, we just saw a couple of our friends are actually picking these up right now at Home Depot. The results on testing have been absolutely amazing. We're pretty excited to see what's coming next. Absolutely. Cool. 100%. Tim, thanks a lot. Really absolutely. appreciate thanks it. Thanks for stopping by. We just found our friend Alicia. You probably recognize her from previous shows. She's going to tell us all about the brand new MX saw that's going to put MX where it should be. We're really, really excited about it. Alicia, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate oh my gosh, it. absolutely. Of course, we are so excited here at NECA 2023 to be showcasing our newest MX Fuel 14-inch cutoff saw, delivering gas-like performance, but eliminating all of your headaches with gas. Instant start and fastest cutting from start to finish. This is going to deliver up to 14 feet of cuts per charge fully plunged in concrete. Sheesh. You're also going to see some awesome safety features on here, like our new rapid stop braking, which is going to stop that blade within three seconds, as well as our anti-kickback. This saw is going to be leveraging our new Red Lithium Forge 8 amp hour battery, which again, I called out that runtime, is making huge leaps in regards to what capabilities you have in concrete. In addition to the 8 amp hour battery, this is going to be kitted with our new MX Fuel Supercharger. Now, we are making major advancements as well on the charging side. You're going to charge this battery in up to 45 minutes, allowing you to really continue to cycle through packs throughout the course of the day. With our new MX Fuel Supercharger, this also is designed with cool cycle capability, ensuring your pack is coming off that charger cool, pulling hot air through and really pushing cool air, again, allowing you to cycle through packs throughout the course of the day, giving you ultimate runtime for the most demanding cutting applications. The runtime seems to be the most obvious improvement. It's such a big deal. How big of part of that is the change to the saw versus the new forged batteries? Yeah, that's a great question. So we did a lot of updates from the electronics within the saw as well. We learned a lot from our first generation. So I'd say it's a pairing really of both. For perspective, the first saw that we had when paired with an XC60, yeah. we were getting six feet of cuts per right. charge in concrete. Right. Now we're able to deliver 14 feet. Yeah. Not compromising on weight and actually delivering more performance as well. Wonderful. Awesome. Thanks, Leach. It's so good to see Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate Great seeing you too. Have a good show, guys. There was a brand new Milwaukee drill announced just yesterday. We didn't see it coming at all, but here at NECA, 
We've got it. My friend Brittany here is going to show it all about it. Brittany, thanks so much for joining us. Appreciate it. Absolutely. Tell us all about this new overhead drill. Absolutely. We are really, really excited about this solution. This will be coming early 2024. This is our M18 fuel overhead rotary hammer. What makes this product unique is a first to world two in one integrated design. So already built into this tool, you're gonna to have that hammer back, that dust collection. What that does is it keeps the tool really lightweight and optimized for good balance in overhead drilling. We've also done a couple other uh, unique ergonomic designs with a new side handle that keeps both your shoulders at a much more comfortable height oh, throughout smart. the day. Yeah. So now you're gonna redu reduce those MSD injuries and really make overhead drilling a lot more manageable. Super exciting, so early next year? We're looking around spring of 2024. Awesome, any chance I could try it? Yeah, absolutely, please. All right, let's do it. No dust at all. You can hear that little clicking afterwards as that HEPA filter clicking things, cleaning things up, cleaning up that filter. That's amazing. It's incredibly light for a rotary hammer. That's amazing. Love this extra side handle too. That made it really, she's exactly right. You keep your arms up. It's very, very easy to use. This is exciting. Thanks. Steal this. All right, guys. I just found the Weha booth. Luckily, my friend Jim's here. Jim, so good to see you. Thanks, good man. To see you. Tell us what's going on at Weha. So Weha, we're uh, we got some unique stuff we're showing today. First is our bicut, cut, which looks like a standard diagonal pliers. However, if I want to cut some hardened chain. I try to cut this, and it's very difficult to cut, but one push of the power button changes the leverage on it. It changes the leverage in the tool? Yep. And it cuts oh, like Oh, that is slick. So no no nicks on the, the blades. As you can see, it changes the leverage. I can use it at a standard diagonal pliers with a no very kidding. large opening. That's, That's very the buy cool. cut from Weha. Love that. Uh, another item, this is our new Pocket Max screwdriver. Small, compact, 1,000 volt rated. Tested to 10,000 volts. Storage in the, the end. Is that magnetic? It's magnetic storage. So the nice oh, thing awesome. about it, very slim. Carry it in your pocket. Cap spin so when you're when you're driving a screw in, a little bit better feel, ergonomic. Nice. And then we also have some similar items. This is the- Oh, look at that. The uh, father of the Pocket Max, where it's storage in the handle. A little bigger, a little more bulky, however, same thing, these blades are all interchangeable with each other. But that's basically it from Weha. And then we also have uh, our screwdriver extravaganza going on, which we have great deals on various screwdriver kits. So you can find these on uh, weha.com, uh, wehatools.com, or your local uh, distributor that stocks Weha products. Awesome, thanks Jim, that's appreciate good. it, Thank bud. You. you guys have a great show. You too. All right, so next up, we're going to stop over in the Fluke booth where I heard that they've got a new tester for EV chargers, and I want to see that. Let's go. All right, guys, so I just met Kurt here in the Fluke booth. Kurt, thanks so much for joining us. I appreciate it. So I understand you have got like an EV tester? Yeah. Or EV charging tester? A tester for a charging station, yes. Awesome, tell us about it. FEV 100. Okay. And we have one right here. So the concept of this product, basically, this is an interface to act like your car. So we're going to hook up to a charger, whether it's in your home or along the roadside when you're going to charge my electric vehicle. And the concept here is that the instrument will actually allows me to plug in fluke test equipment here or here to actually look at the different charging states of that charging system. So did you know when you hook up your vehicle for the very first time along the roadside, it goes through a series of connection points and there's a communication sure. between your phone or your car, excuse me, and that charging station. We allow you to plug our meters in to verify that those signals look correct. Gotcha. So is the charging station working? I would like to know that before I plug my car in, right? We do a variety of things. We verify is the GFCI like you have in your bathroom or your kitchen working? Do we have a ground? That's an important thing. Yeah. If we don't have a ground and you're touching part of that charging stand, you could get shocked. Did you know that? I did not know that. Yeah. So this interfaces and acts like the car to my charging system and allows fluke test equipment to plug into it to verify and commission tests. We do make wireless meters. So we make a model called a 125B. That is a scope meter that the data pulls to my phone on a mobile app yeah. and I can wirelessly and paperlessly document the tests that I've done on this device. Very if I'm very a contractor, cool. this is how we get paid, right? <laughs> yeah, makes right? sense. Okay. Now I understand you guys have some new solar stuff too. We do have solar stuff. You want to take too. a look at that? Sure. Let's go. All right. All right, Kurt, solar stuff. What do we have? 
So solar area, we have quite a few new offerings these days. The flagship product is called an SMFT 1000. That stands for Solar Multifunction Tester. So this is a all-in-one device for basically verifying all the characteristics of my solar system. Also verifies, do we have a good ground? Do we have proper polarity? Do we have a, a, any problem with the insulation on the wiring? So the idea is this will actually walks me through a series of tests, but we're testing against known standards in the marketplace. So do my solar panels and my connections all meet the standards? This is an important ah. thing to know. Yeah. And for a lot of customers, this is the thing that tells me I have a good installation versus I have a bad installation. And that would be the big deal, right? Yeah. So the idea is I walk around the menu, all my connections go up top. One of the cool things about this instrument is if I'm flipping this around to the connections, it actually shows me the uh, connection points to make and the, uh, the wiring diagrams on some of these displays. Uh, we also have a AC-DC current clamp for doing current measurements as nice. well. Yep. And that will go up to 1,000 amps. The instrument itself goes up to 1,000 volts. We can also hook up to an external irradiance meter that uh, transmits the data back to the mainframe uh, in Bluetooth. So what's irradiance? I'm glad you asked. That's for looking <laughs> for the level of the sunlight that's being shown down on the solar panel. No kidding. And do we have this at the proper angle to clap the most amount of solar energy into my panel so I get the maximum amount of output of out of my panel itself? Very, very cool. One other device I'm going to reach past you to grab over here. Sorry. No, it's all right. I'm listening. This is called a 393. This is a AC-DC clamp meter, but it does DC voltage and DC current at the same time. This is rated to 1500 volts. That's the new standard in the industrial marketplace. We launched this uh, a few years back. This is also Fluke Connect. One of the things we're doing at Fluke now is everything is going wireless. And we can now connect to a mobile device, your iPhone, your iPad, your great smartphones, and wirelessly and paperlessly pull data from the device. Very, very Fluke cool. Connect is not new. We've been doing this for 15 years now. No kidding. No kidding, yeah. So and all of these solar things that we've been talking about, are they all available now or are they coming soon? All available right now. Yeah, we're ready to ship and ready to take your order and ready to talk to you about your <laughs> applications you have today. Awesome. Uh, if you're interested. Great. Yeah. Well, thanks, Kurt. Really yeah. appreciate the tour. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, guys, that does it for us at NECA 2023. I want to thank Spider, Flex, Blockwater, and Ohio Power Tool for continuing to support our show and our amazing community of tool fans that watch it. All right, guys, if you can, do something kind for someone else this weekend. Sarah and I, we'll see you next week.